about methodology, methodology. Please, can you break down this methodology and what it actually means? I've read the report, but I would like you to explain to Nigerians how we arrived at this methodology. Of course, international uh, standards. And I also want you to respond, if for a developing country like Nigeria, Nigeria is the largest, uh, is the biggest economy on the African continent. If for a developing nation as ours, should we take what is as said by the MBS, international best practice against the reality of a developing country. International labor organization, of course, global standards they are looking at, because if you take a look at it now, Nigeria's 4.1% unemployment rate, I think is the fourth, if not number three. You have the US at about 3.5, the UK and all of that. How much sense does it make to say that a developing country like, like Nigeria has an unemployment rate of 4.1%, you are using yourself to compare to, a, to countries whereas they have almost full employment. How can you take someone that is working for an hour in Nigeria as full employment, as an employ, as employed? Aren't you, aren't you cutting yourself off? SG, please answer. All right, thank you. So the methodology is uh, the... 19th International Conference of Labor Transition uh, Agreement, in which Nigeria is also a signatory to that agreement. Uh, what is contained in that uh, guideline is that we should open up the uh, age bracket of uh, 16 to 64 that we are using before to 15 years and above. That is the first thing here. That is the working age population, uh, 15 and above. The second one is the issue of what we are using before as 19 hours. If you work for 19 hours in a week before now, we say that you are unemployed. So you should take note of that, that somebody working for 19 hours in a week should be regarded as unemployed. That is what that guideline addresses. That we cannot be saying those people are unemployed. You can also look at what what the methodology also address is the issue of farmers that work uh, off season, and the questionnaire does not take care of that off season or a, somebody that is working in an, a, a former establishment that is on leave or uh, not feeling fine. Those people are regarded before as unemployed because they are not at work. But the, method, the new methodology takes care of all these situations to ensure that they are employed only that they are not at work. The issue of one hour as benchmark, MBS and indeed the guideline does not say that if you work for one hour in a week, you are fully employed. Please, there is nothing like that in that guideline and there is nothing like that in that report. We didn't say if you work one hour in a week, you are fully employed. Because if you work one hour in a week and you want to work more, only that you cannot get, and then it's a, you are underemployed with a situation, not fully employed. That 